Hello friends. Today we will study about the calculation of pi bond orders in 1-3 beta ion system in ground state and excited state. In previous lecture we have already studied about pi bond order, its formula and its calculation in case of ethene and cyclopropanyl system. So today we are going to calculate it for 1,3 beta ion system. As you know that in 1,3 beta ion system there are four carbon atoms. The skeletal system C double bond C, single bond C, double bond C, CH2 double bond CH, single bond CH, double bond CH2. So it has four pi electrons as you can see from this structure and the energy levels for 1,3 beta ion system we have already calculated E1, E2, E3 and E4. There are four energy levels. E1 is equal to alpha plus 1.618 beta. E2 is equal to alpha plus 0.618 beta. E3 is equal to alpha minus 0.618 beta. E4 is equal to alpha minus 1.618 beta. And there are four wave functions, psi1, psi2, psi3 and psi4. We have already calculated it. So now we will calculate the pi bond order in case of now 1,3 beta ion system in ground state first. In ground state, as we have already seen that psi1 is having two electrons and psi2 is also having two electrons. Here I have given all the wave functions for the 1,3 beta ion system. Now uh, here we can see that bond order between 1 and 2, carbon atom 2 and 3 and similarly 3 and 4. So three bond orders uh, we will calculate P12, P23 and P34. So first of all bond order between first carbon atom and second carbon atom that is P12. So that would be equal to number of electrons in psi1 that is equal to 2 into coefficient of P1 that is 0 0.372 multiply by coefficient of P2 0 0.602 plus 2 electrons are in psi2. So 2 multiply by 0 0.602 and 0 0.372 coefficient of P1 and P2 in this case. So when we calculate it, it comes out to be 0 0.896. Similarly, we can calculate the bond order between second carbon atom and the third carbon atom that is 2 into 0 0.602 and 0 0.602 coefficients of P2 and P3 respectively plus 2 into 0 0.372 and minus 0 0.372 coefficient of P2 and P3 in case of psi2. So it comes out to be 0 0.448. Similarly P34 may also be calculated uh, first of all psi1 it has having two electrons so p3 and p4 so coefficients of p3 and p4 0 0.602 and 0 0.372 plus 2 for psi2 multiply by minus 0 0.372 and minus 0 0.602 coefficients of p3 and p4 respectively so uh, when we calculate it it comes out to be 0 0.896 so here uh, from these values 0 0.896 P12, 0 0.448 P23 and 0 0.896 for P34. Here we can see that uh, the value of P12 and P34 are the same and they are comparatively higher than that of the P23. So from these value we can conclude that PRS that is either P12, P23 or P34 it is greater than 0. Uh, these values are greater than 0 but they are comparatively lesser than 1.0 which means uh, that all the three bonds they are neither a full double bond nor a single bond all are having partial double bond character. So uh, the bonds between C1, C2, C3 and C4 they are having partial double bond character. Second thing P12 is equal to P34. You can see here that 0 0.896 and this is in this case also it is 
0.896 and this value is greater than that of P23 that is only 0.448 which means that the terminal bonds that is C1 to C2 and C3 to C4 they are having more double bond character than that are uh, that of C2, C3 which means uh, these uh, C1 and C2 these carbon atoms and C3 and C4 they are more tightly bonded as compared to the uh, second and third one. Thirdly, you can see that here C1, C2 bond length that is terminal bond length, uh, C3 and C4 it is comparatively lesser than that of C2 and C3 if we compare it uh, uh, in terms of bond length then C1, C2 and C3, C4 uh, the bond length is comparatively uh, shorter than that of the central bond that is C2 and C3 and um, these bond lengths are comparatively longer than that of the olefinic bond which means it is not 100% double bond but it is having partial double bond characteristics. Now we can calculate the bond order in case of excited state of 1,3-butadiene also. Here you can see that psi1 is having 2 electrons and in ground state there were 2 electrons in the psi2 so now 1 is in with the uh, was, uh, one is in uh, psi2 and another one is in psi3. So we will calculate uh, the pi bond order with help of all these 3 and all the 4 equations now. P12, now psi1 is having 2 electrons so 2 multiply by coefficient of p1 and p2 0.372 and 0.602 plus psi2 is having one electron so 1 into 0 0.6 uh, 0.602 and 0.372 then psi3 is again having one electron so 0.602 and minus 0.372 when we calculate it it comes out to be 0.448 similarly p23 so again uh, psi1 is having 2 electrons so 0 0.602 and 0 0.602 are the coefficients of P2 and P3 respectively for psi1 then second psi2 again here it is 1 electron so psi, uh, for psi1 it is 0. Point, <coughs> uh, sorry psi2 for it is 0 0.372 and minus 0. 372 again psi 3 is having 1 electron so minus 0 0.372 and minus 0 0.372 coefficients of p2 and p3 respectively so now we calculate it then it comes out to be 0 0.724 now p3 p4 uh, the bond order between third and fourth psi 2 is again having two electrons and 0 0.602 and 0 0.372 are the bond order uh, are the coefficients of P3 and P4 respectively. So, 2 multiplied by 0 0.602 into 0 0.372 plus psi2 is having 1 electron. So, minus 0 0.372 multiplied by minus 0 0.602 again psi3. So, 1 electron. Psi3 is 1 electron. So, minus 0 0.372 and 0 0.602 are the coefficients of the P3 and P4 for psi3 respectively. So, uh, when we calculate it, it comes out to be 0 0.448. Now, from this value, you can see that the P12 is equal to P34. And uh, these values are comparatively lesser than that of the P23, which means double bond character of the bond between C2 and C3 is increased and that of terminal bond, it is being increased. Uh, you can see uh, the value that is, is only 0 0.448 and P23 value is 0 0.724 and from this fact we can conclude that uh, this may lead to the uh, cis trans equilibrium in the excited state of the butadiene as uh, can be shown in this way that is the cis form and the trans form. So uh, we may uh, see that in excited state the terminal bonds are comparatively um, having lesser double bond character whereas in the ground state the terminal bonds were having more double bond character. So in this way we can calculate the bond order in case of 1,3-butadiene system.
in next lecture now we will calculate the bond order for allyl system thank you